What is up, everybody on YouTube? Max Rock here with another video. And today I'm going to be giving you my, I want to say, 72 hours impression of the Samsung Galaxy J7. A phone that I picked up from Metro PCS for the price of free. So look that up. The price of free definitely exists out there. Because when it comes to this phone, there was one. Uh, yeah, I got this phone at Metro PCS. It was free with a porting. And so I just used one of my lines that I, you know, don't generally use. And I ported it over to Metro. And I went ahead and got the unlimited plan as well. Because we're going to be doing some tests between their networks of Cricket and uh, Metro here. Which is AT&T versus T-Mobile. Even though Cricket does have the cap speed, I've noticed that the speeds on the uh, Metro network can be similar. Oh, bump again. Could be either similar or a little bit better, but nothing, uh, nothing that's like too crazy. If that makes any sense, nothing that's like astronomical, like 40 megs down faster. You know what I mean? And this is here is the box. You can see J7. Um, box came kind of ruined, but who cares? Um, so here's the phone here. So as far as the phone, you see the features. Has LT of course, 5.5 inch HD Super AMOLED display. Sorry about the, the sunlight there. 13 megapixel autofocus rear facing camera with LED flash. 5 megapixel wide angle front facing camera with LED flash. 16 gigs of ROM, 2 gigs of RAM. You get a 1.5 gigahertz octa core processor. So that's just some of the specs there. But uh, we can go over to CPU Z and look and show you that this phone has the Samsung Exynos octa core 7580. Uh, 1.5 gigahertz octa-core and the clock speed is obviously 1.5 gigahertz uh, GPU is the uh, the renderer the Mali T720 you can go over to device you see um, the screen is 5.5 inches which is just rounded out 720 like I said pixel density is 268 2 gigs of RAM round up 2 uh, internal storage is 10.89 gigs available storage right now 3.48 it's because uh, it doesn't have adoptable storage. And that's something I'm going to talk about with uh, my new phone here, the Axon, but that's another video. Uh, Android version right now is 6.0.1. Um, let's see, any other information that I should talk about? Man, not really. Well, what's this? That an ad? An ad right in the middle of the shit. All right. But, uh, got the phone on silent here. But, with first impressions here, I can just tell you right now that this phone has a great screen. Um, I would even say it's, I don't want to say it's better than my Axon 7 screen, but this super amulet panel is like amazing. For it to only be 720, it just really surprises me how good it is here. Like I got it on full brightness now, right? You probably can't really tell with the camera, but you think this is the full brightness here if you know anything about the j7 you know that it has an outdoor mode so that it gets even brighter than this you know so imagine this outside how bright this will actually be got no problems looking at this in the sunlight here um also my first impressions the uh the optimization for this phone with the exynos processor is like because this is my first phone i believe with the exynos processor in it and it really does like you can tell, like if you if you use a lot of phones like I do, you can really tell the difference between a Snapdragon Galaxy or Samsung product and an Exynos product. Everything is just more fluent. Um, it runs so smooth here. I got a bunch of apps open in the background. Um, I have to check, see if it was running there before I put this video up. But um, uh, yeah, it actually performs really well. Uh, the Exynos processor is really good. The battery life on this phone as well is good. Um, let me show you guys, hold on. I got some screenshots. Alright, so that's one screenshot there, right? I got six hours, one minute. And I had 1% battery left. So that's really good for this phone. And then I got another one with five hours and 22 minutes. So battery life on this phone is excellent. And also, speaking of uh, some screenshots that I have, I also have a screenshot of the Geekbench 4 score. Single core with 604, multi core 2881. Um, as far as that goes, I mean, that score is really good in my opinion. Um, for it to be a phone that came out last year and with the new, you know, criteria for Geekbench, 
it's uh you know everyone's numbers went down like almost everyone also i want to talk about my first impressions here is uh what was that someone just followed me randomly on instagram um is the uh the cameras on here uh the cameras in the j7 are pretty good like the focus in is really quick um actually front facing camera is decent as well let me see yeah, you see me there. Axon 7 right there. The front facing camera is also really good. And the video quality is excellent as well. It, and, the, and the actual camera does perform pretty well in low light. Um, oh, by the way, as you saw, I'm shooting a video with the Axon 7. It's at 60 frames. Let me know how the sound sounds because I got a mic coming in the mail. I'm going to be using it, but I want to see if there's a difference between... I want someone, you know, I want someone's others. I want some, somebody else's ears to tell me. Do you hear a difference between the mic that I'm going to be using pretty soon and the Axon Samples mic? Was it worth the purchase? Uh, also, uh, what else can I say about the phone here uh, besides the cameras? Um, call quality is decent as well. I took a couple calls in this one. and um, Oh, and about this phone here, I, uh, I already have it unlocked. So I can use my Cricut SIM card in here. So it works perfectly fine on the uh, Cricut network or AT&T network. HSPA works. LTE works. I got the hotspot enabled right now for here. I'm using it in the metro right now. I got the hotspot enabled. I got this Apple cell phone connected. Uh, it's crazy how I got these phones, and that phone was a shot to the side there. <laughs> uh, what else can I say about this phone here? Um, the speaker on it is not that good. That's that's the only that's one of the major downfalls about it. It's not that good. Um, it's just it just isn't like you could be in a quiet room. You hear it perfectly fine, but as soon as you hear like a little bit of noise or there's a little commotion going on in a part of the room where you're not in, it's going to be hard to hear this device as far as the output from the speaker here. Um, music playback from the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack on the bottom is uh, really good. Nice crisp audio there. Um, oh yeah, it has micro USB for the charging port. There's a microphone here. And as you see, I got a Poetic Affinity case on here. There's a noise canceling mic up there. Uh, what else can I say about the phone here that I'm really liking? Um, I don't know. I my major one of the major things, and I already talked about this, was the actual uh, the optimization for the phone. Like Samsung needs to start releasing more phones with the Exynos processor in America, like in the U.S., because I feel as though the Snapdragon phones, don't get me wrong, they do perform well, but they're just not better than the Exynos processor. They just aren't. And I think uh, it would be a good idea for them to start releasing more phones in the U.S. with the Exynos. That's just my opinion there. Probably don't feel the same way, but whatever. Um, multitasking on here is decent as well. Um, let me go ahead and open up the YouTube app. I'm going to play one of my videos. Matter of fact, I'm going to give you a demo of the speaker itself. Uh, so let's go ahead and play. I'm going to release this video in a few minutes. Axon 7 unboxing. Gold phone, but no, gray phone, but gold earphones. Thought that was weird, but that's me. So go ahead and play this video. What here. is up, everybody on YouTube? Max Rock here with another What's video. Today we're going to be looking at the Samsung Galaxy A7 here. here. Phone that I picked up from Metro PCS. It was free. And, uh,. I don't know if you guys actually hear that noise in the background. That's max volume. But, uh, so that's max volume there. So it's not that good. But multitasking, let me go ahead and open up a few apps here. Open up Amazon. Open up Twitter. Open up Instagram. All right, cool. So with these few apps here, multitasking should be perfectly fine. Um, matter of fact, let me go ahead and open up Title. I use Title subscription service. Let's see another app I can open up SoundCloud and Google Plus. All right, so I got what? Several apps open there. So, as far as multitasking, as long as you don't have too many apps open up in the background, everything should be working perfectly fine. But as soon as you start putting up, you know, about 10, 15 apps. Like most phones, it does start slowing down. Meaning, like, not slowing down as far as like the processor and everything, but slowing down as though uh, 
it won't be able to keep up with the amount of apps that you have open. So the RAM won't be able to the RAM won't be able to keep up with you. That's what I'm trying to say. The RAM won't be able to keep up with you, the user. And very few films can actually, unless you got a OnePlus three or T. So uh, yeah, video's already ten minutes here. Uh, there are some other things I can talk about, like the build quality and everything on the device is actually really good. Uh, let me go ahead and take this poetic affinity case off so I can show you. I mean, you've seen the J7 before, but let me just show you. Anyway, why not? It's not going to hurt anything. So here's the J7 there. You can see plastic all around the sides of it. The black is plastic as well. There's the sensor for the camera, LED flash, power button, volume up and down keys, and that's the bottom of it there. Let me get a better focus of that. Yeah, wait. Is it going to get it now? There we go. Boom. So yeah, that's pretty much going to be the end of this video here with my impressions. If you have any other questions about the phone, let me know. I'm going to be putting this phone up against some of my other phones in the catalog. See how good it is. But uh, definitely my favorite phone. Well, one of my favorite. Well, it's in my top two right now. Number one is the Axon. But uh, I'm just really surprised at how well it performs. Um, and for that screen, it only be 720. I just can't get over the fact that it's 720 and it's this gorgeous. Like, I feel as though it gets brighter than my Axon 7. And maybe I'm tripping, but I feel like the 720p Super AMOLED may look better than the 2K AMOLED panel on the Axon. Maybe it's just me. But it really does look good. Like, you have to get this phone in person and put it at Mike's brightness to see what I'm talking about. But anyway, that's going to be the end of the video here. As you guys know, my name is Max Rock. Any questions about the phone, let me know in the comments. I want to say, of course, thank you for watching. And you guys, have a good day. Peace. That wasn't supposed to happen. <laughs> Here are some pictures that match.